So have you been so excited and fired up and yet so confused about your day and how to be massively productive? Well, one of our most viewed videos of Vlogmas series here since we start here in December 1st, ending on the 24th, is my morning routine. So I decided to expand upon it and give you my top three daily routines. I'll explain in this episode to the Seven Figure Squad starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? My name is Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And yes, we are back from Miami, Florida, back in the saddle. In the next couple days, we're about to leave for Montana. So we are committed to providing you a video a day for Vlogmas 2021 since the December 1st all the way to Christmas, providing a video value to make sure you can launch your 22 with the thoughts, the strategies, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. So if you haven't done so already, if you're watching these videos and you think we've helped you in some form or fashion, please like this video, hit subscribe, because our goal is to get to 150,000 subs so we can award a church, charity, or nonprofit $5,000 to help them help other people. Okay, so let's get right into it. So what are my top three daily routines that if incorporated has a massive potential to help you become a multimillionaire in 2022? Number one is diet, exercise, rest, and recovery routine. There's a routine about how we take care of our body. Your first wealth is your health. I mean, after all, it doesn't make sense to go through the grind, team no sleep, have poor eating habits, eating junk food, no exercise. And if you do that for years, it doesn't make sense that all the money that you might make, you're gonna spend all that money just to regain your health. And one of the first things that I started to minimize and eliminate from my diet is sugars. Reduce and or eliminate sugars altogether. Anything with sucralose, anything with sugar in it, I'm very conscious of it right now with my children because we recognize sugar creates in your body a acidic environment, an inflammatory environment. And guess what? That's the type of environment that cancer cells love to thrive in. Plus, not having the right diet, exercise, rest, and recovery routine saps your energy and causes you to have brain fog. So the opposite is true. If you have the right diet, exercise, and rest routine, you're able to make the right, smarter decisions quickly with mental clarity. So some of the things that I've been able to do to incorporate into my routine is to make sure I have proper hydration. We do these uh, weekly IV therapies to make sure my body is absorbing the right vitamins because sometimes even the food here in America, the processed foods that we have at restaurants, sometimes the vitamins are cooked out. You might feel full, but you not necessarily might be getting nourishment. So one of the things that we've thrown into the mix too as well to help with my recovery is cryotherapy. I've had to work through uh, injuries that I've had in the military. I have two torn patella tendons. So therefore, one of the areas that we've incorporated is things called cryotherapy because it causes your body to flush out all those toxins, to flush out all the crud that's in your blood. Also, infrared saunas and causes your body to sweat much differently, much more deeper than just a superficial sweat that you get in a whirlpool or a sauna or in a regular sun. So one of the last things I'll talk about in this category of this routine is consistency of when to go to bed, not necessarily when you wake up. I, I find it very easy for me to wake up. I find it very, very difficult when to go to bed. I, listen, if you leave it up to me, I'll go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, wake up at six o'clock, five o'clock, and I didn't give my body enough rest. So I forced myself, there's an alarm in my phone, not for me to wake up, but there's an alarm in my phone telling me, hey bro, you better get to bed. So therefore you get some rest. So therefore you get some recovery. So if you can minimize and eliminate those things in your life, guess how much more productive and efficient and sharp and fired up you are about your day, about your week, about your month. Which leads me to number two. A large part of our routine is weekly accountability and masterminding with our peers. Every week we get on this call with our mentor, Patrick Bedave, the CEO, founder of PHP Agency and the host of Valuetainment. Every Tuesday between 10 and 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we're on Zoom, we're talking to them, whether it be in person or on Zoom, we're constantly chopping up for an hour, hour and a half. And in addition to this, there's also mutual knowledge sharing with our peers and what they're doing to get to the next level. Sometimes in our, our conversation, we're very open and transparent because we want to help each other grow, is we share our thought, we ask our mentor, and we ask any of our peers what they've also done in that situation to help them advance through that problem. The third part about this, you establish a group where you're the mentor, you're just not being mentored, 
Now you're the mentor. I call these cigars with MSG. I call these coffee with MSG. MSG meaning money smart guy. It gives you the opportunity to process what you've been receiving from it, your mentors, to process what you've been actually doing to incorporate those things. And now you're giving it to the next generation, giving it to people that want to get up to your level. We call that setting a leadership example and expressing the standards, the values, and the principles of what you live by and what the results they are creating in your life. And by the way, with me just saying that, I just want you to know here on the Seven Fears Squad YouTube channel, I've got nothing to sell you. I don't have a mentorship program. I don't have a mastermind group. I don't have an event to sell you. Listen guys, I got nothing. The reason why we do these videos is that so many people that I've seen, so many of them are left so unaware about how to get ahead financially. And so if I can help people help themselves, well, amen, that's part of the purpose of thinking like a millionaire, strategizing like a millionaire. So therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Part of this weekly accountability and masterminding with peers is we have the opportunity to give. And we give without any expectation in return. We give because we just wanna see our peers, our company, our community just get better. So there is no expectation for us to receive. I'm happy because here's what we feel. You put enough good out, somehow, somewhere along the way, we put enough good karma out there, we believe it's gonna come back to us tenfold, a hundredfold. The saying we live by here is that life gives to the givers, takes from the takers, and has a very accurate accounting system. Part of this process too gets me very clear on the direction I have taken based on my vision, the business I am building, and the life I want, and the life I want my family to live, and the people around me, I want them to be blessed. I want them to raise their game too as well, because I feel that if I raise my game, I'm gonna raise the game of everybody that happens to be associated in my life. Which leads me to number three, self-awareness. I do this constantly throughout the day. Matter of fact, at the shooting of this video right now, I've been very self-aware and very self-conscious of the things that are coming out of my mouth and how I'm coming across. I've been very self-aware of what I'm doing on the execution of my business, how I am as a parent, how I am as a husband, how I am as a team leader, how I am as a chief distribution officer, how I am as a YouTuber. I'm very self-aware of the things that's coming out of my mouth and the things that I'm doing on a daily basis. Because here's the bottom line. I realize I'm not as good as I think I am. I gotta get better. See, self-awareness is getting past the illusion of who you think you are and allow people to speak into your life with your willingness to change. Oftentimes, this is where pride and ego gets the best of a lot of people. When I came to my mentor, Patrick Bedev, and I said, PBD, I'm, at that time I was 42 years old. 42 years old, PBD, I ain't got no time to waste. You tell me what I need to learn, what I need to know, what I need to execute upon, what I need to incorporate in my business so therefore I can get financially ahead, so I, therefore I can get my past behind me already. And he looked at me and he said, listen, Sapala, I'm not afraid to coach talent. I got you. But you gotta know if you have pressure from me and you're taking this pressure from me and I sense that you don't like this pressure from me and you resent me, I wanna let you know I'm backing off because I'd rather maintain a relationship with you than make you think that this pressure this life that you say you signed up for, that you don't want it anymore, that I'm putting too much pressure on you, I'm gonna peel back. I'm not gonna be where I'm not wanted. Now, this is a big reason for people in corporate America to have performance reviews. Performance reviews are tough. Oftentimes when people are reviewing your performance and what you did, or this project, in the military we call this action after reviews. Lots of times people are very egotistical about what they think that they did, they really didn't do though. They're taking more credit for things that they thought they did, but really didn't execute upon. They're taking credit for what other people did that they think they did. Seem kind of twisted to you? See, the bottom line with self-awareness is a daily routine I do every day is to take responsibility for everything. Everything that goes right or wrong in your life is because of you. When there's a cause, there's an effect. When there's a yin, there's a yang. When there's a problem, there's a solution. You may have your reasons, and there's also consequences for executing upon those reasons, doing what you're doing. I've had this mantra in my life when it comes to self-awareness and leadership, it goes like this. If it's going to be, it's up to me. It's not up to my team. It's not up to my wife. It's not up to my kids. It's not up to my staff. It's up to me. And I always pray, hey, Lord, don't ask me to get me through this. I ask for, Lord, give me strength and wisdom to get me through this. Because if it's going to be, it's up to me. And God is going to equip me with the strength and the wisdom and the knowledge to know what to do, to make the right decisions, 
as I go through the situation. Now, if my staff and my team has fallen short of a goal, it is because I have failed to properly manage expectations, delegate with expected outcomes or deliverables with deadlines, and not give them access to resources so they can do their job. Because if it's going to be, it's up to me. Now, I'm not in all the details, but I gotta make sure that the details are taken care of. I remember one famous line that Tony Robbins has said. It says, can I, C-A-N-I, constant and never ending improvement. Are you incorporated into your life? Constant and never ending improvement. In fact, if you've been watching this video up until now, please put this affirmation in the comments section below. I am constantly and never ending with improvement. I am constantly and never ending with improvement. Before I let you go, check out these two videos right here. My morning routine that I've used to make me millions, and you can do too as well in 2022. And this book right here, the book that will make you millions in 2022. A majority of mastering money is mastering the mind game, the spirit game, and the emotion game. That being said, guys, let me know your thoughts, your comments, your questions, your feedback. You agree with me, you don't agree with me, please put it in the comment section below. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. See you tomorrow.